Hello, good people. I am Nicole Barnes of Nicole Barnes Ministries International, and thank you so much for joining me. And more importantly, thank you for allowing me into your personal space. Well, I bet you're looking at me saying, where is the color? Why is it so dull? It's black and white. It's not popping. It's like a 1920s movie. What is going on, Nicole? Well, I intentionally changed the color on the film because I wanted to share a, just a scenario with you about life. Have you ever noticed that there are times in your life when it's just dull, black and white, monotony, the same old thing going on, nothing's really exciting happening, and you know what? Those times, you kind of feel a little depressed, and you may even cry out to God and say, Lord, when is this going to change? Well, I want to let you know that mostly every born-again believer has those moments where times seem a little dull, where there seems to be no color, no life, no excitement. But I have some great news from you today, for you today from the Word of God. I was looking in St. John chapter 10, verse 10, and it says the thief, come, the thief cometh, uh, but to kill, steal, and to destroy. But then it goes into what Jesus came to do. He said, but I am come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Well, I want you to know that those times of sadness, those times of black and white and dullness won't last always because Jesus said he's come to give you life and to give it to you more abundantly and to everything there is a season. And my prayer today is that this is your season for you to come out of the dullness, for you to come out of the daily, just every day doing the same old thing and that you will get into your purpose and that you will fulfill the destiny that God has for you. I was looking in St. John chapter 4 and it's a very familiar story and it's about a woman we don't even the Bible doesn't even give her name we don't know her mama's name her daddy's name we don't really know anything significant about her but one thing we do know is we know the problems that she had and we call her the woman at the well well you know the story Jesus told the disciples I must need go through Samaria and they're like why would you cut through there but Jesus knew that on his way he was going to meet somebody who had been just going through the same old thing daily every day nothing exciting she had had five husbands and the man she was with wasn't even her husband well one day she was just on her way to the well and guess who she bumped into she bumped into Jesus wouldn't that be just so exciting to be going through your day and then you know you're just going to work or you're going to school or maybe you're a homemaker and you're just doing your thing and then all of a sudden you get a surprise visit from 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 Jesus and that is the day that your life changes well that's what happened to the woman at the well like I said we don't know her first name we don't know her last name nobody even tells us really what she looks like but all I know is one day she was one way or one at one time she was one way and then at the next moment she was something else because she ran into Jesus and once she ran into Jesus she ran into her destiny let me read a little something about what happened in her life and this is uh, st. John chapter 4 in verse 25 and the woman said unto him I know that the Messiah cometh cometh which is called Christ when he is to come uh, he will tell us all things and Jesus said unto her I that speak unto thee am he and upon this, his disciples marveled that he talked with this woman, yet no man said, uh, said anything. And the woman left her water pot and went her way into the city and said unto the man, Come and see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is not this the Christ? And then they came, uh, they went out of the city and came unto Jesus. It is so interesting that when you read that little passage, how this story ends, she leaves the city with so much excitement. It doesn't even say that she goes back home. It says she runs into the city. And that's what happens when Jesus comes into your life or when Jesus revives you and when Jesus gives you direction and when you have an encounter. I often tell people, no man can have an encounter with God and stay the same. I don't care who you are. I don't care what condition you're in. When you have an encounter with God, your life will change. Well, you might say, well, Nicole, I'm high right now. Or Nicole, I'm deep in sin right now. Or Nicole, I don't know how I'm going to get out of my situation. I do want to change, but I feel a little stuck. But you know what? 
I want you to know that when you have an encounter with Jesus, your life will change. Well, then you say, okay, then, all right, boo, then tell me, how do I have an encounter? It's simply a matter of talking to the Lord from the bottom of your heart, being honest with God about where you are, being honest with God about what you feel, and being honest with God about the direction that you wish you were in. Lord, change my life. I want to be better. I want to do something that's productive. I'll tell you this before I go. I remember when I was deep in sin. I'm talking about far from a peaceful shore, <laughs> from, a, from the peaceful shore, as the song would say. And I remember saying to God, and I was so honest with God, and I was kind of scared to tell him the truth, but I was like, wow. I, I was always told that God wants truth from the inward part. And I said this. I said, God, listen, I love you. I said, but I'm going to tell you something. There are some things that you like that I just don't like. There are some things you want me to do that I just can't picture myself doing. And I said, and then there are some things that I do that I know you don't like. And you know, and I said, Lord, I'm scared because I don't know if we're going to find some common ground. And I mean, I was just gut honest with God. And I'm going to tell you one secret. I loved me some Miller Genuine Draft. And I'm not talking about a sip. I'm talking about, okay, y'all. I'm talking about like, like just like the Lay's commercial where you just can't eat just one. Well, I couldn't drink just one because it was that good to me. And we know that if you drink like that, that's not healthy. It's going to lead to a road of destruction. And so I told God, there's some things that I like that I know you don't like. And, and, and then vice versa. But I tell you what, by honesty with God, cause God to be gut honest with me and begin to speak with me, begin to deal with me and begin to bring deliverance to me. And so I'm just saying that you can tell God the truth. You can be honest with God. God does want truth from the inward part and he wants to brighten up your life. He wants to bring some color, some pizzazz into your life. He wants you to get on the road to destiny. He wants you to be what he has called for you to be. I remember God telling me, you're only 50% of the woman I designed you to be. I was like, God, what? Why am I going to get this other 50%? He said, by seeking me, by drawing near unto me, and I'll draw near unto you, by allowing me to clean you up, by taking it one day at a time, by trusting me. And I mean, I tell you what, it has been a journey. So listen, I'm not going to hold you. Hold on to the word of the Lord. Jesus came that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And like the woman at the well, you may be the man at the well. You may be a child at the well, but Jesus wants to come into your life and give you a purpose and when you leave his presence you will never be the same and you might just run out to all of your town and tell them come and meet a man i think i met the messiah listen god bless you meet me at www.nicolebarnes.com if you have any prayer requests and oh remember the children in africa make it happen africa listen i love you god bless you and have a blessed and wonderful day